Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review, alright? So, you guys really love my Frozen 2 review, even though not much of you commented on that. But it doesn't matter, alright? So, today I'm gonna be reviewing Zombies 2, alright? I know this movie has been out for like three months. Well, four, I think. I don't know, but... I just want to give you guys my own thoughts and opinions about it, and... A possibility for a Zombies 3, alright? Because, you know, there has to be, at some point, there has to be a Zombies 3, alright? I mean, you can't, you can't end it off right, right there, alright? Alright, so, so let me give you a little synopsis on this. So, after the events of the first Zombies, the humans and the Zombies are happily reunited once again. But, but one day, an unexpected visitors came to Zeebrook pack of werewolves. Now it's up to Addison and Zed to hopefully make peace with them so they can go to prawn. Oh, as always, there won't be any plot points, details, or anything, alright? I'm gonna give you my personal opinion on it, alright? I might make a, f a spoiler talk live stream. I know I said it with the Frozen 2 one, it's just I would love to make do live streams. So let me know if you want me to do a Frozen 2 spoiler talk live stream after this, alright? So enough said, let's get into this, alright? So what did I think about it? I really loved it. I mean, I wanted to love it as much as I loved the first one. Like, the first one was really good. I mean, some of my, like, two of my classmates kind of hated it, think it was stupid, but I, I still love it, alright? And kind of... I mean, me and my cousin listen to the songs every day, like, well, not every day, not, not like every day, like, I kind of listen to them, like, a few times a day, but that doesn't matter, alright? Okay, I really love, like, like, in the first one, like, it dealt with high school problems, for this, it just, well, it just... It just, it's really dealing with relationship problems, like, how I'm dealing it right now. Like, there's some points, like, like... Zed and Addison are arguing, then they make up, and then, and then, and then later they just, they just break, they just get mad at each other again, like, come on, can't, can't you just to make out, like, I would love, I would love you two to make out, like, even though it's a Disney movie, like, I know they, I know Disney has a reputation of being family friendly, but, but if they want to be on the violent side, well, not on the violent side, like, with their Marvel and Star Wars movies, but, come on, if you want to give us something we actually want to see, at least, at least, you know, maybe spice things up a bit. But, you know what? I'm not even going to say it, but because reasons. But, and also, also, one, and then there's Bucky. He's like the Chad in Zombies World. Like, I really despise him. Like, at first, I thought he put the past behind him, but nope. But nope. He, he decided, oh, I'm going to be racist again. I'm going to be a racist bastard again, all right? And I just really hate him. I just, he's my, he's my, he's like the other least, most hated characters next to Chad from Zom, Chad from Descendants, and Trish from 16. I mentioned that in my reaction video. Alright. Also, the one thing that people are kind of against this is the pacing. Like, like it is just way too, the pacing is just way too fast. Like, everything is just too abrupt, too abrupted, like... Like the store, like how Zed and Addison's relationship, and and how you know the election and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry if I gave that away. I'm sorry for those who haven't seen it. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying like it could have, like it could have been a lot slower. Like people could have thought it would have been a lot slower, but but hey, it's them. Like I know they're trying, all right. And also, also, and Meg Donnelly has confirmed that. That ho she would pray and hope that there would be a Zombies 3. Like, I'm hoping in the next one that it'll, that there will be vampires involved. Like, I don't know how that, how they'll adapt to that. Maybe they could be like in a, in a Twilight. It'll be like a Twilight situation. Like, the vampires and the werewolves don't, weren't, won't get along. And then, and then probably, probably either Zed or Addison will probably stop them and break this up. <laughs> break this up, alright? Alright, like my little cousin, me, my when me and my little cousin discussed this, she, she said it would be like the Vampire Diaries. I haven't seen the Vampire Diaries, so for, 
So for for the fans who who are watching it, I I truly apologize. I truly apologize. Well, my sister watches it as well, and my little cousin. All right. So that so all in all, it's a really good movie. Like like I really want to love it as much as the third as the first one, but you know I really love this movie, and I can't wait to see what. What's gonna happen next, alright? And there was this theory that, like, someone by the name of, of Kate, Kate loves Disney, alright? She, she has a theory that, that Addison might be from the future, and that, and that's why her, that's why in the very end of the movie, which I won't say, what, which I won't give, so go watch the movie, then come back. And then all of her technology went haywire and stuff. So that actually blew my mind. Like she actually thinks it w she was an alien, but which people were expect were speculating that aliens would be in the third movie. But for me personally, it would be vampires. All right. So so what do I rate this movie? I rate it as always. I give it an A plus as I did to Frozen Two. So enough said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like it, as always, don't forget to hit me with a like and thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for all notifications, and let me know what do you think of Zombies 2, and do you ever think there will be a Zombies 3? I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.